are here at Wat Phnom to discover the cultural and historical significance of what legend claims is the heart of Phnom Penh. At the heart of Phnom Penh lies a pagoda atop a hill with a legendary history that marks the origin of the city itself. In the modern hustle and bustle of the capital, Wat Phnom provides a calm, spiritual experience in one of the few green spaces of Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh, or Lady Penn's Hill, is among a minute percentage of cities named after women and among the largest. According to legend, Lady Penn lived in the late 14th century on a small hill near the bank where the four rivers converge. One day, she found three Buddha statues in addition to a statue of the Hindu god Vishnu hidden within a tree floating down the river. The wealthy woman had villagers build an artificial hill with a small wooden temple to house the religious treasures. Wat Phnom, or the Hill Pagoda, is considered the birthplace of what would later become Cambodia's capital city, with later kings adding height to the hill, along with large Buddhist pagoda, stupas for royalty, and a smaller Chinese temple further downhill. Modern inhabitants and visitors of Phnom Penh can visit the site from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. to stroll the green space, take in historic art, pray at the hilltop temple, and purchase Cambodian art from the Arts and Crafts Center. Visitors can also head to the cafe attached to the Arts Center to relax and take in the scenery. For a $1 entry fee, foreign visitors have the opportunity to climb what was once the highest peak in Phnom Penh. Once at the top, anyone is free to make offerings, pray, and ask for blessings within the pagoda. To the left, you can see a statue of Lady Pen herself, to whom worshippers offer perfume and makeup, often putting lipstick on the statue, in reverence of the woman who founded Phnom Penh. In addition to Lady Pen are dozens of Buddha statues and one of a river goddess. Along the walls and columns are magnificent paintings of the life of the Buddha and the founding of Phnom Penh. As in all Buddhist temples, modest attire is required, and guests are to leave their shoes outside. Outside, guests can view carvings and stonework, resembling the style often seen at Angkor, with Naga balustrades and depictions of ancient Khmer battles. With Wat Phnom just a one-minute walk from the riverside, visitors should be sure to follow a low hum that sounds somewhat like a squeaky electric generator. As you get closer to the sound, however, you will find a tree absolutely teeming with fruit bats, hanging upside down and enjoying the balance provided by the city's spiritual center. With so much of Cambodian history rebounding from its attempted erasure committed by the Khmer Rouge over 40 years ago, Wat Phnom represents an enduring legacy that continues to offer a sense of identity, balance, and peace amidst the nation's rapid development. Kristen Winters, EAC News. I'm going to tell them why that's not my gift.